Hello and welcome to our last lab for uh, online general chemistry one. It's going to be a molecular geometry exercise where we're going to be really looking at molecular structure. And to come down here, here's kind of an example. I apologize, it's just my printer had this weird blue line going through it. And here it shows you an example for ammonia. And then here you'll see that there are 12 models that you're going to be doing. And then it says total number of electron pairs, number of bonding pairs, number of lone pairs, geometric arrangement of electron pairs, and geometry of molecule. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to explain to you what I'm looking for in this. Okay, first of all, I'm going to come over here to the textbook. Um, and if you haven't read the last of the slides, you need to read the slides and the textbook before you do this, okay? If you try to do this without looking at this section, then you're not going to be able to. So let me zoom in a little bit here on the pictures in the book, which you guys will have. And you're gonna see a variety of things. See, there's the arrangement of the electron pairs and an example of what it might look like. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at one of these so that you can kind of see where we're at. So see this first ball and stick model? Okay, so where it says total number of electron pairs, that's your total number of electron pairs. Okay, now in this case, there are no lone pairs, okay, so the number of electron pairs is two. And in this case, there are no lone pair electrons, okay? So the number of lone pairs would be zero. And the number of bonding pairs, or bonding pair electrons, we'll just say number of bonding pairs, is two, okay? So you can see there's two electron pairs and two bonding pairs and the number of lone pairs is zero. And because there are no lone pair electrons and the bonding pairs equal the pairs, then the electron arrangement is linear and that's the electron arrangement and the geometry of the molecule. Okay, so the electron arrangement pair and the geometry of the molecule are the same because there are no lone pairs in the central atom. Now let's take a look at what we've got going on here for something that is not exactly the same. Okay, ah, there we go. Okay, so let's take a look at this one here for example. Okay, in this one, okay, you see that we have one, two, three, four, five. So there are five electron pairs, and you'll see it right here, five electron pairs. So it has five electron pairs, but for this one here, we only have four bonding pairs. Okay, and then right here, we have one lone pair. Okay, and so then what you'll see is you'll see that the electron arrangement or the geometry of the electron arrangement is trigonal pyramid. Oh, sorry. No, it's not. It's trigonal bipyramid. Pyram yeah, boy, I'm having trouble saying this. Trigonal bipyramidal. Okay, and that's the geometry of the electron pairs. But because we don't have, we just have a lone pair here instead, then the shape or the geometry of molecule is seesaw, okay? And those are going to be the things where, that you're filling in here. Total number of electron pairs, that's all of them, bonding pairs and lone pairs, bonding pairs, lone pairs. If there are no lone pair electrons on the central atom, that'll be zero, okay? And then the geometry of the electron pairs and the geometry of the molecule. And again, if there are no lone pairs, these will be exactly the same. 
Okay, and then up here is an example of how you would fill this in for ammonia. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through and I'm going to show you the 12 molecules that you'll be doing. So first of all, here is molecule number one. Okay, and I'm going to kind of show you what this looks like from every angle. All right, it's number one. And now here is number two. And again, let me go ahead and show this from each angle. And then here we have number three, and I'll show it from each angle as well. And then I'm actually going to come down lower here so that you guys can really see what these look like when they're sitting on a table as well. So we had one, two, three. Okay, so now here we have number four. And you can see that this one has some double bonds. And how it looks like on a table. And here we have number five. And you can see, you'll need to really kind of look closely at it. Let me go ahead and sit so that you can see it as well from that angle. Okay, and now if I turn this, you can see, see how it looks in, in every plane. Okay. <clears throat> and now here we have number six. And you'll see that I actually I used different uh, molecular modeling kits for these. And actually that was somewhat on purpose, um, just so that you could see this one is kind of a springy model and distorts a little bit. And here's number seven. Okay. And he, these are the lone pair paddles and the atoms. And then here we have number eight and this one. Oh, there's a whole bunch to this one. Okay, so you can see how it looks kind of from different angles. And then we have number nine here. <laughs> I'm running shy on room. Okay, and again, we're gonna see how this looks from every angle. All right. And now you can kind of see the four and the two lone pairs there. And then number 10. And the green paddles are the lone pairs. And the atoms. And number 11 here. This one does a kind of a neat little trick here. See? Might be a, a clue. And last but not least, this one. Boy, does this one look funny. Okay, you have, see three lone pairs there? And then a central atom. All right, and that's it.